Hello and welcome to CJC Adventures. Today we're going to have a look at one of the most greenest places in Tipton in the West Midlands in the Black Country and we're going to take a look at the most famous place well one of the most famous places there is Victoria Park. Going back to the 1800s, yes the 1800s more than anywhere else, the people of Tipton wanted a new park. So they put their money together and said, I know, come on Mr. Councils or Mr. Councillors, we want you to build us a new park. So in 1901, Victoria Park officially opened and was named after Queen Victoria, who died that year. You know, walking through here, I mean, it does give me lots and lots of memories of, you know, when you're kids and you tend to want to go on for a walk on the park or a game of football or whatever you might wish to do. You know, it's such a beautiful park and I think, you know, the years it's opened and, you know, it's just days like this, you know, on a cold day but the sun's out. It's still nice to go and walk on a park and reminisce of old times and hopefully good times to come and the park does have a big lake as you can see yeah, lots of ducks there's lots of complaints over the years that the ducks do make a mess uh, in more ways, ways than one but you know it's uh, still nice Back in the day, they used to take boat trips all around this lake and boats would be, have holes in them and you could pay, I think it was a tanner and then you could go across to the island in the middle and that would take you to there and you could come back but in this day and age of course there's health and safety not only in this country in England but of course all over and I suppose it makes sense because I don't think anyone actually drowned on here but at some point in the future maybe that would have changed because health and safety measures of course you fall in where there's anywhere where there's water there's a chance but they used to do this and I think during the 60s or 70s maybe a bit later they stopped doing it because of obvious reasons and but you know there's still a lot to explore here on Tipton Park uh, as it's known as Tipton Park, even though there's two parks in Tipton, this one's Victoria Park and of course there's another one called Jubilee and I always called it Tipton Park, I never called it Victoria Park and you know, um, such a you know peaceful place to be Quite a lot of wildlife on, uh, on this park and still a very well used park, they play bowls and so forth, they play football on the football pitch just over the back there. Um, yeah, it's just you know, when it's on your doorstep, you tend not to think about coming here, but you know, it is, it is worth a, a look around. They've got a play area, and they used to have a, a golfing place where you could play crazy golf and uh, you used to chuck your ball over the top and say you've lost it. And when you got out there, you could pick your ball up and you'd have a free golf ball. and Maybe that's why they stopped it, I don't know, but, you know, these days it's just a peaceful park, kept well, kept tidy, and really nice. There's the famous bandstand, used very famously for many of brass band playing, not done for a long time though. A monument was put here on Victoria Park, back in the day when it first opened and that monument still stands today it's to celebrate the well not celebrate but just remember the, the great war and it's still nice that it's all kept nice and there's flowers and wreaths being laid here on Remembrance Sunday and so forth so you know it's just nice that there's still something to remember the, the great war and all the people what sadly lost their lives back in the day and you know 
still nice just to sit and remember. Over in the distance there, you can see just between the trees, is the former Tipton Library. It was a nice building, lovely building. I think it's some sort of council house now, but it was a bit out your way if you wanted to go and borrow your book. But the other one's situated more central in Tipton now, so you have to go through the what's classed as the Tipton Shopping Centre to go to the library they use now. But you know, on certain days it's open, certain days, like any library in Great Britain, it's not. But um, there is a lot of history if you take a look at the uh, library at the moment. But that was the former library, and just see it off in the distance there, poking through the trees. Just over there is like the tennis courts, and there's a, a swing that you can swing yourself down on, and a tightrope, and you know, you can see the football pitches, you say, over the back there. And, it's, uh, it's a nice day for a walk on a park, but uh, see the bulbs popping up through the ground, uh, snowdrops, etc. So, uh, yeah. And there's the famous Victoria Canadian geese. There's quite a lot on here. Um, I mean, over the years, they've like obviously the bread and whatever, but this park, because of it being so looked after, it does draw a mirror, it's got a beautiful, well there's two islands actually on Victoria Park, you can see the other one just to the left, and then uh, the other one to the right, it was great how they actually built it back in those days, because back in those days it used to take longer, and if you think about 1901, the technology they had, how did they fill the pond up, did they wait for it to rain, or, but I don't know, I'm sure they had lots of, uh, technology of the day to to do it um, yeah so you know it, it's wonderful really that you can sit here and watch the geese and if you sit here with fish and chips you've got no chance they'll be taking it off your left right and center so it's best to sit away from them while you're eating chips or, or sandwiches or whatever you come here to to eat and do There was once a water fountain where you could have a drink, but uh, these days, you know, it's just history. One or two people fishing today. I didn't know they still was allowed to do fishing, to be honest. Um, I'm not a fisherman myself, but uh, I think as long as they keep away from the ducks and stuff, because, of course, hooks in the mouths of ducks and stuff, don't they? But uh, someone over there just, just fishing. Um, yeah, I suppose there's fishing here. A few squirrels there running about. I don't think a park could actually be the same, would it, without a, a squirrel or two hiding his nuts? Probably families of them. And just there, and a little, little run and storing his nuts up for an even colder winter. Who knows? But, uh, yeah. I didn't know that the actual grey squirrel came from America and uh, not many red squirrels left in certain parts of the country, of Great Britain. There's the Victoria Park Bowling Green. Not being used at the moment because of obvious reasons. Very well kept, manicured, nice. Hope you've enjoyed this little bit of history of Victoria Park in Victoria Road, Tipton. Victoria Road was actually called Randall's Road. And it was changed when Victoria opened in 1901. Please subscribe if you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. And we'll see you again soon from CJC Adventures. I'm Carl, and goodbye for now.